Hey guys, Travis here. So people have been asking me, how do you make square videos in Facebook with the letterbox effect so you can add text to the top and put your captions at the bottom? Kind of like this video here that I'm playing from Brendan Burchard, edited and shot by yours truly. So why square video? Well, according to some stats that I've been reading, square video takes up 78% more real estate on a person's mobile newsfeed than landscape video does. So variety is the key, right? So you might wanna repost the same video in landscape mode and then also in square mode and repurpose that video with captions and titles. According to this website I'm looking at right here, square video outperformed landscape video in views and engagement. In some cases, square video resulted in 30 to 35% higher video views and 80 to 100% increase in engagement. All right, to get this started, let's head over to Camtasia. This is the editing software that I like to use for this process. So we're gonna open up a project and you'll notice that it defaults to HD size. So it is in a rectangle here. So we need to change that. We're gonna go up to Camtasia, preferences, and we're going to change our canvas size to a custom 800 by 800 size. So you might need to type that in. I've already done this before, so it's already a preset for me. 800 by 800. Now, once you tell it to do that, you'll notice it still stays rectangle. You need to go up to File, New Project, and now it will be square. So next step, we'll import media. I'll go ahead and grab one of Brendan's recent episodes that I've been working on. We'll bring that in. Now watch this. When you grab the video and throw it down on the timeline, so boom, it automatically resizes the video in your square box. So you have a nice letterbox effect where you can add text up top and captions down below. I'll show you guys captions in a separate video. It's kind of a pain in the butt. That one might be a course only, so make sure you sign up at Shoot Videos That Sell if you want to get access to that. Let's add a quick title up top. and add a red rectangle that adds a sort of a red highlight effect to make this text really stand out. Right click on the red rectangle and send backwards one layer and it'll pop right behind your white text. Hope this was helpful. Have fun Facebooking.